That doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And you also can't get off this island any other way, so if we leave, you're screwed. And how do you... Oh, wait. And how do you figure that? Hello. Postman. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa there! Just who are you? When do you get off butting into someone else's conversation? Please, all I meant to say is that Big Bad Pirates hasn't come to Kauai Island. That poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away that, by that bird. Just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I've spent much time traveling amongst many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't you heard word about a young girl getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, there seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is, the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why I grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Beast Cat who that here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird kidnapped both you and Beast Cat's wait, both you and Beast Cat's sister has made his foul nest to the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where So where what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I think it would be unreasonable for you to give Beastet a little help now, wouldn't it? I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've been hearing nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there without nothing but that cheap sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you can use as a shield. You know, anything with you to protect yourself? Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, uh, one more thing. Once we leave here, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you better say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Okay, we got our mission. We know where our sword... Um... Sorry. We know where our shield is, but we got a couple, couple other things to take care of first. First off, is that long thing. Oh, wait, no. I guess it's right here. If you look in here, there's ten rupees! And destroy wildlife trees! Cut, 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 There. And then we want to go back to that big patch of grass that we saw on the other part of the island because, well, we want to find out what's in there. He's cutting grass and everything. Look at that, it's so inefficient. You're taking off a couple blades at a time, whatever else. Actually, you kind of made a good hole for yourself. That's, for, that's good, but... However, there's there's more that you can do about this! Monies! Monies, monies, monies. Even if it's a single ruby. Or single rupees. Clash will take itself. And, um... Die, die. I'll show you up. I'll show you I can be a grass cutter. I can be a grass cutter too. My mommy said that if if I work hard enough, I can become anything. Ah! And that, that those rupees are back. However, the things in the chest obviously do not respond. Up. Oh. There you go. Did you hear that noise? Be said. Did something happen? What was it? Oh, say, that's a fine sword you, sword you have there, buddy. Just look at that thing. You know, you'd be doing a big favor if you cut this grass here for me. Sometimes you can find things in the grass when you cut it. It isn't always a thankless chore. It pays, buddy. It pays about six rupees by the time we were done with everything. Yeah, don't think that pays very well. Anyway, we want to go back to our grandmother's house. Is there a breeze going through? Yes, there is. What the hell? The door's not closed.
There's a slight breeze. There's a slight crack in my door. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go and get that shield. Da -da -da -da. Grandma, what have you done? I need to save the world. Mm, I mean, my sister. Who are you, Scott? Is this what you're looking for? The shield that you need to, to do your quest? Well, I'm not giving it to you! I'll take it with you. You got the hero shield! The legendary shield said to have used by the hero himself. You don't look very happy about it. Hold ZR to defend yourself while, while holding the sword. You can also move around if you're defending while targeting. I guess that's true. Ariel's really been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? Oh, Ariel. Oh, that's all you say. No goodbyes or anything. Fine. Fine. Don't care about your child. Grandchild. You know, you notice that Link never actually has like a mother or anything. He has like a mentor or um or a um or like a grandmother or something, but no direct bloodline. You know, no previous generation. But yes, you can you can hold CR to defend. You can use that Malubin, you can also use that to sidle or strafe. Um let, let's find out what Beetle whoops. Let's find out what Beetle has in his shop real quick before we, we head off. So Beetle is the shopkeeper here. Oh uh, yes. I'm going to be spending lots of money on his wares if I want to complete the map. Oh, a customer! Welcome to Beetle's Ship Shop! I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Or do you need to see any do you see anything you'd like to buy? So the the bait bag is something that we want to get off right up get right off the bat. You got the bait bag. Keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. It has eight pouches for storing bait. Thank you! You're the greatest! I'll never forget you! I'm going to make a member's card just for you. When you buy loads of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. <gasps> something very good indeed. Not really. So now we need to buy 30 items. Um, we actually want to grab some bait. Um, because I don't know when we're going to see Beetle next, so... Thank you! Thank you! You have two points shaved up. And the bait will, like, essentially respawn. Um... Thank you! I'm going to try... Yeah, I'm going to spend... I guess, I, I guess I'll just get six for now and leave, like, 63 rupees in my possession. Because the bait is what you actually need to use in order to, uh, fill up the map. So, before we go anywhere, I'm going to save the game. You obviously can't see it, but you can save the game basically at any time. If you save inside a dungeon, it'll just take you back to the start of that dungeon, but it'll save the progress you have. So, now we have Nico. Hey, you shrimplet! Are you gonna be our new pirate swabby? Because any new swabby reports to me! Yes, that means I don't have to wash other pirates' dirty underpants anymore! Hey, Gonzo? She can't be serious. What is she thinking, bringing a shrimp like you on board? Talk about a joke. Boy, Miss Tetra's impulsive nature sure has a way of landing us in hot water. Shrimp, you're gonna be sailing on a pirate ship. You better be prepared to become a pirate, yeah? Because if we get scared, we'll start banging and crying to let us off the ship somewhere. So then you're guaranteed to end up a shock bait. Shut your face! And you? 
this is a terrible situation, Beast Scouts. I'm truly sorry. Unfortunately, I can't go in your stead, but if anything happens, please come to my island. And I'll tell you what I can aid you. I will do what I can to aid you. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? I gotta get splinters and cry. Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go! Are you ready? I don't think we have anything else to do on this island, so... longer you're gonna go on do you think do you have an estimate huh are you sure you shouldn't quit right are you sure you shouldn't quit right now seriously think about it I can tell you're just gonna get more sentimental from here on out there's still time you know are you sure you shouldn't turn it back and take you to your island or we could throw you off the ship and you could swim back yeah you could still swim from there So now we are on the pirate ship. Beast Cat, listen kid, you can't just stand around on deck. You need you'll get into everyone's way. I told Nico to look after you, so what you better so you'd better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Okay, well, let me talk to everybody first. Into the big blue boys! Turn that ship from ugh, turn the ship full starboard where you head for the northern seas. Listen, Shrimp, you're really creeping me out, sitting in there, so quit it, yeah? Stay out of my way. Way out of my way. Go below, down below and find Nico. Who are you? Nerdy, nerdy pants. Hmm? That Nico didn't make out half bad. With you being the new Swabby and all, new Swabbies always get, always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a, it's, it's a real wa raw deal, but hey, I'll tell you. It sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder. You bet he is. But hey, don't sweat. I'm sure you'll do fine. Just as long as you don't disobey him. Nico isn't threatening. So your name's Beast Cat, right? <laughs> That's one weird getup you got on there. So what's the deal? Is that popular back on your island or what? Not to think about it, though. I've seen an outfit like that somewhere before. So he knows more than he's letting on. Let's go back. Let's go up to the, um... Damn, my pirate really knows. is really slipping. Um... Look at tower. Or something. You! Get out of my way, will ya? Turn right back around. Climb down. Fine. Hey, at least, at least he's, he's very, um, strict with what he says. Alright, now that we've talked to everybody, let's head to below decks. Head below deck. <clears throat> yes! Stealing money from the pirates! Uh, stop right there! This is Miss Tetra's cabin! Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're... Uh, we're no way we're letting an 